Hi kids. Hi everyone. Welcome to the drawing and painting class once again kids. So today we are just going to make a very interesting fun painting kids. So how you all are doing kids? I hope everyone is good. Yes kids. Okay. Great to see you all once again kids. So I hope everybody is very happy. Everyone is very enthusiast enthusiastic for the new art session. Okay kids. It is really so great to see you all once again. Very good kids. I just uh, I just saw uh, your comments, your comments below. I just saw your favorite animals and the uh, and the other uh, techniques and methods which you want to uh, uh, learn, kids. I really appreciate your comments, kids. Thank you very much for letting me know what are your favorite animals and characters. I will try my best to teach you all those characters and animals in the next art session. Okay, kids. Yes, kids. So kids, today we are just going to learn the very beautiful koi fish pond. Okay kids, so I am just showing you. See kids, this is my painting. Okay. Can you see? This is my koi fish uh, pond painting kids. So I will be just teaching you today uh, this painting. Okay kids. So you can see here, uh, there are two fishes and the beautiful lotus pond behind so kids we will be just making this painting with the help of our thumb prints okay kids it is very easy kids just with one stroke we are just going to make this fishes do you know kids just with one stroke yes kids it is really so easy right kids to make Yes, kids, everybody can make this is pond and, and I am sure everybody can and uh, like uh, paint in the same way I have painted. Okay, kids. So it is very easy technique and everybody can make this. I know, I know that kids. So kids, I hope everybody is liking today's painting. Yes, kids. Okay, kids. So today we will be just learning. To make these koi fishes. Okay kids. So these koi fishes are very famous. And these are specially found in China. Okay kids. These fishes are also considered. Uh, very, uh, it is also considered very auspicious. And it, it is also considered a uh, good luck charm in China. Okay kids. So today we will be just learning. This very beautiful fishes to paint. Okay. Yes kids. So I can see some of my little artist friends are still joining in. So let's wait for a few seconds and then we will be starting our session. Okay kids. So everybody just arrange your materials kids. And thank you so much kids for joining me once again for the art session. So kids are... Uh, have you all practiced drawing and painting all these days? Anybody? Okay. Very good kids. Very good everyone. And kids, if you have any doubts or queries, you can chat. You can comment your doubts in the chat box. Okay kids? Yes kids. So, I can see now uh, most of my little artist friends have joined in. So, let's start our session. Okay kids? Okay, so everybody is ready to make the painting. Everybody is ready. Okay, kids, so I am just shifting to the workstation, kids. So kids, for this session, you need a black A4 or A3 size paper, okay? You need a palette, a water container and some paint brushes. You need some poster or acrylic paints, okay kids? And then you need a pencil, 
इरेजर शार्पनर एंड सम टिश्यू पेपर्स ओके सो दीज आर द मेटीरियल यू नीड फॉर दिस सेशन किट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट आर पेंटिंग ओके सो किट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल बी जस्ट फोल्डिंग माई पेपर इन टू टू हाफ ओके I'm just folding my paper into two halves to make it a a A4 size paper. Okay. So, kids, everybody, just fold your papers. Everybody, fold your sheets into an A4 size paper. Okay. Or else, you can also make on a A3 size paper. Okay. So everybody just for just be ready with the papers. So kids, first of all, I need to draw some circles. Okay, I need to draw some circles just around the corners. Okay, kids, and in the between, we will be making the fishes, koi fish. Okay, kid. So let's start our session, kids. so you can just take your compass or a circle uh, any uh, any circular object you can just take to make the circles okay you can also uh, you can take the in uh, water bottle lid or any other or uh, lid you can just take to make the circle okay so i am just drawing it with my hands Okay, kids. So everybody start to draw circles, kids. Everybody just start to draw circles. So I'm just making some circles at the corners. I'm just making. I have just made a curve like this. Okay, kids. You can also make. a curve at the corners okay then one more circle i am making here okay so everybody just draw four circles kids everybody just draw four or three circles for the lotus leaves okay because this is our lotus pond so we will be making like these circles okay so everybody just draw the circles kids everybody draw the circles kids then after drawing the circles i will be just starting to first paint my leaves okay kids to paint my leaves i am just taking my green shade my green and my lemon yellow shade okay kids to make the leaves i will be just taking my green and lemon yellow shade so i will be just mixing these two shades to make a very beautiful leaf green shade okay so i am just taking my paint into my palette So kids, everybody just take your lemon yellow and green, light green into your palette. Okay, kids. First draw the circles at the corners and then take the paints. Okay. Start mixing the paints and then paint it inside the circles. Okay. Just like this, you need to paint. inside the circles kids like 
like this okay kids you just need to fill the circle with your green shade okay just fill the e circles with your green shade okay I hope everybody is drawing the circles. Yes, kids. Everybody just finished drawing the circles. Okay. So you see, kids, like this, you need to color your circles, your leaves. Okay, your lotus leaves. Like this, just finish painting your lotus leaves, kids. Like this, we will be painting the leaves. Okay, kids. Everybody paint the leaves, kids. And kids, if you don't want to use uh, the paints, you can also color the leaves using your oil pastels. Okay, kids. You can just take your lemon yellow and lemon green. in oil pastel and just color the leaves okay kids if you are unable to paint properly with the paints then you can just pay, uh, color with your oil pastels okay so as you can see kids i am just finishing painting my leaves so you all also finish kids the painting of your leaves and if it looks little bit thin then like if it looks transparent then just uh, paint another coat on on the leaf okay kids so i'm just coloring one more coat on my leaf So like this i will be just filling my lotus leaves with the help of my green shade okay like this you will be finishing coloring your petals okay your leaf coloring your leaves like this okay like this okay kids so everybody just finish coloring your leaves kids everybody just finish coloring your leaves Just finish coloring the leaves properly, kids. Everybody. I hope everybody is able to oh color the leaves well. Yes, kids. Yes, kids. Everybody just finish it, okay?
and kids after you finish coloring your green shade after that we just need to give some details to our le leaves okay kids to so how we will uh, give the uh, details to our leaves using our lemon yellow shade okay we will be just making some strokes on our lotus leaves so that it gives us more the feeling of a leaf okay kids so i will be just taking my i uh, lemon yellow shade and i will be just making some strokes okay like this i will be making some strokes okay So like this, you will be making the strokes of your lotus leaves. Okay, just at the sides, you need you need to make these strokes. Okay. I hope everybody is able to make the strokes on your lotus leaves, kids. Yes, kids. Everybody will be able to make the strokes. I know that. So everybody, just finish. making the strokes on your lotus leaves and kids first make it sure that the lotus leaves are dried okay the green part is dried and then put the strokes okay so like this you need to make the strokes okay just at the sides okay kids just at the sides just at the edges of your lotus leaves you need to make the stroke you need to make the strokes with your light yellow shade okay So kids you can see I can I am just making the strokes on my lotus leaves okay Like this we need to make the strokes on our lotus leaves okay So like this I will be making the strokes on your on our lotus leaves okay kids So everybody just finish making the strokes kids Everybody just make these strokes and finish your lotus leaves okay And after this step kids we will be making the koi fishes okay So to make the koi fish we will be taking our orange shade and our white shade into our palette okay so i am just taking my orange and my white shade into my palette okay So as you can see, kids, I have just taken my white and orange shade 
into my palette so you also need to uh, drop some some of your little bit of of white and orange poster color or acrylic paint into your palette okay kids so with the help of these two shades we will be making our koi fishes okay kids so everybody just first finish your uh, lotus leaves and then we will be making our koi fish okay I, so I guess kids, everybody has finished making the lotus petals. Okay, so now I will be just first of all taking my thumb, okay, and I will be just putting my thumb into the palette, and I will be just making the fishes just with one stroke, okay, kids. So I am just dipping my my thumb into my palette, okay, into my white shade, and now I will be just making my first koi fish, okay. Like this, okay kids, you see, I have made my first koi fish with the help of my thumb, okay. And now I am just erasing my hands with the help of my tissue paper. And now I will be just making my another koi fish with the help of my orange shade, okay. Just dip your thumb once again. Put your thumb like this. And then it will just come down like this, okay? If it doesn't, if you don't get a stroke again once in one time, then once again you can just once again repeat the same process, okay? Once again I'm repeating. Like this, okay kids? Okay, like this. You just need to make a stroke like this, okay? With the help of your thumb. So kids, now I will be just putting my details into my koi fishes, okay? So kids, as you finish making these strokes with the help of your finger, with the help of your thumb, then we will be just putting some fins and, and tail to the fishes, okay? We will be drawing, we will be just adding some fins and tail to our fishes okay kids so now i will be just showing you how to make the a tail you just need to make two strokes okay kids like this one stroke like this second stroke okay and now we will be just making some fins to our koi fish okay kids so like this and like this okay once again, like this and like this, okay? Just two strokes to give our, to make our fins, okay? And then we will be once again making the fins on our tail to our orange ko uh, koi fish, okay? So once again, like this and like this okay everybody is under uh, everybody is able to understand kids it is easy right kids everybody can make every can everybody can make these kind of strokes once again like this okay 
once again I'm making the fins to my fishes like this and like this okay like this kids okay everybody he needs to make the he, no, tails like this okay I hope everybody is able to understand how to make the uh, fins and the tail of the fishes. So everybody just make the uh, tails and the fins and then we just need to give some details on our koi fishes okay kids so usually kids the koi fishes are of two colors okay so usually we can see white orange or red koi fishes okay so usually there are some dots on the uh, bodies of the fish okay so the orange koi fish usually usually have black dots on on her body and the white koi fish usually have red dots on her body okay kids so now i will be just making some dots with the help of my red shade okay so I'm just taking some little bit of red shade into my palette to make the dots. I'm taking a little bit of black to make some dots on my orange koi fish's body. So kids now I will be just taking little bit of red shade okay and I will be just putting some strokes like this. Like this okay kids. So this, this is how you will be in uh, you will just put some strokes on your koi fish's body okay. Everybody is doing a great job kids. I know everybody is painting with me and everybody is, is able to make these very beautiful fishes. Right kids? Very good everyone. Everybody is going great. So now I am just putting some black dots on my orange koi fish's body. Okay? Like this. Just to get, make some dots. Okay, kids, like this, you need to make some dots on your orange koi fish's body, okay? And kids, you can just make sure that at the koi fish's first dries, okay? And then you can just make these strokes, okay? And when it is dried well, you can make the eyes on your koi fish, okay? Just make two small dots for their eyes. Like this. Like this, okay kids? Easy, easy for everyone. So I've just made my fishes as you can see kids and now I need to make the pebbles okay. So how will I make the pebbles kids? I will be making my pebbles with my light brown and my grey shade okay kids. So I'm just taking my black once again okay. My black and white will give me a gray shade okay and i will be also taking little bit of brown shade okay i 
I have just taken little bit of uh, dark brown and little bit of light brown. Okay. And I will be just putting little bit of white shade on these browns so that it becomes little bit lighter because this is our black sheet right kids so we just need to make it little uh, we just need, uh, need to make these shades little bit light so that it is better visible on the dark shade okay so i am just mixing little bit of white oh it looks like chocolate right kids it looks like chocolate and vanilla is mixing together right so kids you need to just make this kind of brown just by mixing little bit of white into it okay i need to make it little bit more light so i'm just mixing little bit of cream in it so that it becomes more light you can just mix little bit of uh, white in it to make it lighter okay just mix little if you don't have the cream shade you can just mix little bit of white into the brown shade so that it becomes lighter okay kids so to make it lighter you can just mix white, uh, white into it okay so you see kids i my brown just became little bit light brown so this is how you also need to make a lighter brown shade okay so everybody please make the light brown shade kids and then the black which we took we also need to mix our black with white shade okay kids to make it gray okay so i'm just mixing my white and my gray my white white and black to make it gray shade so i've got a nice gray shade here So kids, now we just need to make some pebbles, okay? In our koi fish pond, we need to make some pebbles. So to make the pebbles, I think uh, I need to make. I need to take little bit more of paint because it feels it will be less. So I'm just taking little bit more of paint. I hope everybody is painting the fishes, kids. very good kids very good everyone so kids as you can see i am just making the gray shade so my gray shade is ready now kids you can see i am done with my mixing the paints so now i will be just starting to make the pebbles okay so once again i will be dipping my thumb into the palette okay like this and i will be making the pebbles okay you just need to put your thumb prints at random places okay just put your thumb prints at random places you basically kids you just need to fill up this whole space using the pebbles okay we just need to make the pebbles in the is space which is left okay which is uh, left black so i'm just filling the whole space with the help of my gray shade like this okay So everybody just finish making the pebbles kids and just make the gray pebbles first and then we need to make the brown pebbles okay kids so first i'm just making the gray pebbles and then i will be making my brown pebbles okay 
so kids whenever you are finishing one shade once again you need to rub your hand properly with the help of your tissue paper okay and then after uh, rubbing your hands we need to take another shade okay that is our brown shade right kids so i am just putting my thumb once again into my brown shade like this now i will be just making some more pebbles the in the leftover spaces okay like this like this okay i hope everybody is having fun making the pebbles with the help of your thumb prints i hope everybody is able to understand how to make these e pebbles just fill up the vacant spaces with the help of your fingers okay so as you can see kids i am just filling up the whole space with my fingerprints with my thumb prints okay just try to fill up the whole space using your thumb prints i hope everybody is able to make the painting kids everyone is enjoying right kids and everybody is doing a great job kids very good everyone so as you can see kids i have just filled almost a lot of space with the help of my thumb prints so now uh, last step what i need to do is kids i just need to make some last finishing strokes into my painting okay so i will be taking my brush i will be taking little bit of white paint into my palette okay and i will be giving some last finishing touches to my painting okay kids so as you will finish painting the pebbles kids you need to give some last strokes okay so i will be just making some white dotted lines white lines in the in for in the edges of this koi fish okay so that it looks like there is water okay because this is a black uh, um, this is a black sheet so we will be just making the highlights using our white paint okay so like this you need to make some lines in front of your koi fish okay like this okay kids like this okay kids so you just need to make these kind of uh, details these kind of uh, lines just at the edges okay and then we will be just doing the same thing in front of our lotus leaves okay 
then just make some dots like this okay or in some lines like this okay just to get give some feeling of water okay kids so that it looks like the things are swimming on the water right kids you can just draw some lines and kids make these is last finishing touches as your painting is dried okay otherwise your white paint will be just mixed with the uh, pebbles okay so just make it sure that first of all all the everything dries well and then give the last finishing touches okay kids so i'm just doing the same thing to other uh, leaves other le lotus leaves like this i'm just adding my last highlights and just make some dotted lines some more lines just make some small dots okay the small little dots on your water okay like this are you all enjoying the painting kids everybody is liking the painting i hope everybody is able to make the painting kids okay i know everybody is doing a great job kids you all are very talented i know kids and you all can make this painting and kids usually on the lotus leaves we usually see some dew drops falling on the lotus leaves right kids so oh the dew drops are circular in shape right so we will be also making some small dots on our our uh, lotus leaves okay so these are just small dew drops which has fallen on our lotus leaves like this you can just make some dew drops on your lotus leaves okay so we have almost finished making our painting kits we have almost making finished making our painting
so kids this is how you need to finish your painting okay this is how you need to finish your painting okay okay everyone kids so this was our sample image and this is our painted image you see kids in the sample image you can you can see kids i have also made it some uh, some cream colored uh, some cream colored pebbles so you can also make this cream colored pebbles kids you can you just need to mix more of white to your brown shade okay kids to make these kind of cream colored uh, pebbles you can just add more of white to your brown shade okay kids so i hope everybody has enjoyed this painting right so kids everybody just finish the painting properly okay yes kids so i will be just waiting for your artworks in the yellow class portal okay kids i know everybody has done a very good job i know everybody has done a very brilliant job right kids so i am very much excited to see your koi fish pond kids i really want to see your beautiful creations in the yellow class portal okay kids So kids how many of you are going to send me these paintings how many Okay I hope kids everybody is going to send me the paintings okay kids And kids please let me know your favorite things whatever you want to learn once again in the comment section okay kids So kids I will be just meeting you next time with another fun session okay kids Yes kids and please kids try to mix the paints well okay just try to mix the paints well and try to put the fingerprints properly on the painting okay and kids even if you don't want to make this painting on a black sheet you can also make this painting on a white sheet of paper okay and instead of making a a white koi fish you can just make two oh, orange koi fish okay kids Yes kids so we will be just meeting next time with another beautiful fun painting okay So kids keep practicing drawing and painting more and more and we will be meeting next time okay so bye for now kids bye everyone